Hello fellow warriors, I am Zardar and welcome. So today we're gonna be playing as the brand new Empire, more specifically we're gonna be playing with Bas Bal Balthazar Gelt and his uh, newfound faction Solant. I say newfound because it was just created for the sole purpose of that and uh, yeah we're gonna go over into everything that's uh, new with uh, the race attributes, how the Empire works and uh, I think uh, the forts also, yeah. Uh, as you can see here, this is the map that the fort controls um, the area. Alright, so for the race attributes, we can see here Imperial Authority, develop authority within the Empire by engaging in internal politics and quelling problems to enforce confederation, vassalage or war. Uh, pretty much instead of um, the other Empire factions of going into confederation with you when they're on the brink of destruction now you have the option uh, to just uh, if you have uh, pretty much high authority, uh, not high authority, high fealty from them uh, which is uh, the Imperial Authority system if you have like 10 out of, out of 10 you will be able to immediately confederate if it drops below zero then it's war and uh, well it, it is what it is so, uh, summon the Elector Count, secure the fealty of the Empire's Lords to govern or take over by force, assigning new uh, or more loyal Elector Counts. Yeah, it's all mixed together and well-rounded unit roster as we have already seen. So, for the faction effects of Guild, I think uh, it's pretty much the same. Armor plus 10 for all units, capacity plus 2 for Battle Wizards, upkeep of minus 50% for Battle Wizards and his unique effects are Winds of Magic cost minus 20% for lore of metal, missile damage plus 10% for artillery units and hero recruit rank plus 2 for battle wizards faction wide. We start off with great swords, a mortar and some uh, outriders and that is it. Let's go straight inside and the initial challenge of his seems to be uh, just normal. Hail to you, Lord Balthazar. The Emperor invokes you to defend the Empire's southernmost borders, for this is a place under great threat, in need of your great power. The green-skinned scourge already have a foothold here, overrunning the former trading town of Steingart and threatening to expand northwards. Across the dwarf delved Black Mountains, a brutish horde of savage orcs prepares to enter the Southern Pass. A prime opportunity to test the newly built fortifications at Fort Sol. Meanwhile, the states of the Empire constantly jostle for recognition in an uneasy coexistence. Karl Franz seeks to strengthen his position by dealing with threats to his court. At the fringes of the Empire, however, there is no time for petty political squabbling. Few men wield more powerful magic than you, Supreme Patriarch. Show your enemies the true extent of your arcane might. That's right, that's exactly what's, uh, what we're gonna show them. So uh, let's read for the first time, I think I read uh, how they play. Uh, so we can uh, just take it slow. The Empire is known for its electoral counts and internal politics that leave it in a permanent state of unrest and constant war. However, increasing your laurels, prestige, uh, and ultimately your imperial, um, imperial authority will bring stability. Acquire prestige through noble actions such as expansion, victory in battle, and constructing grand buildings. Then use it to deal with incidents and solve dilemmas from which your authority will grow, improving fealty among the elector counts. Additionally, prestige can also be spent on electoral machinations which enable you to manipulate diplomatic relationships within the Empire. Each state of the Empire is governed by an electoral count, securing their fealty is key to unifying the Empire through confederation. Some though will not be easily convinced and will require much persuasion, persuasion, uh, persuasion through aid or military force. 
Once a state's uh, capital is under your, con your control, you may keep the residing elector count or elect a new one. It provides a host of new benefits such as granting a specific Runefang sword in unique, unique traits. So, go away. Uh, chapter objective issued. Yeah, so this is the authority system, which as we can see here, we're standing on zero. So the growth across all provinces is minus five. If it drops below, uh, as we can see here, we suffer some, um, some uh, debuffs. Again, to the tax rate, the growth stays the same, but there's a chance that uh, the fealty will decrease with the elector counts and so on so on the more we go here the worse buffs we get and in the end it's civil wars uh, or everybody is going to declare war on you and you really don't want that now that is the authority system okay if you get it uh, positive as you can see over here growth plus three tax rate plus five and elector counts fealty will get a chance to increase every turn for uh, every and single one of them so uh, this is the electoral machinations. We can uh, use that to interfere. I still uh, haven't got the hang of it. I'm still trying to figure it out. I prefer not to use laurels here uh, un until, um, I don't know, perhaps, for example, Hockland is going to hate me because I will attack Bretonia, for example. If that happens, then I'm going to use the Lords, but right now there's no need to. Uh, it's not that they're, they greatly hate me. And this is the electoral counts. So uh, if you take over Averland, for example, you will be able to assign this electoral count and get the buffs from here, which is the Mother's Ruin, the Noble Sons Abroad, which is a Pistolier's uh, unit. And uh, yeah, so you're trying to keep the fealty up high and as we can see Averland really loves us the rest seem to be kind of neutral on five uh, Marienberg is not uh, does not belong to the Empire you have to capture it and then install a new Electro count the same goes for uh, Sylvania over here uh, so yeah like for example if we go and increase the fealty which is increased for example if you increase your authority I know it's a little bit you know tough to deal but uh, it is what it is. So the first thing is the authority. We increase it by, for example, electoral counts. Re they work together. Oh my God! I'm just. I don't even know how uh, how to explain this. But uh, it's it's simple. It just looks uh, a little bit uh, weird. So <coughs> we gain authority by events, by electoral counts reinstated. Obviously, that's for the later game. Uh, from missions preventing civil war and empire settlements returned. Uh, we lose by electron ca electro counts destroyed, political events, confederation declared war on electro counts, and empire province capital capitals raised. Uh, I never raised my any cities of mine, so that's gonna be fine. So then uh, we go when we fix all that and we increase the authority, then we get a much better chance to get fealty, which if we max it out to 10 out of 10 we get to confederate uh, with a faction uh, and also use these guys the mother's ruins uh, ruin which is a unique item we and uh, the noble sons abroad and there's obviously different units over here uh, let's go through all of them like in Averland mother's ruin and noble sons abroad in Wissenland we get bloodbringer and the Emperor's Wrath, which is a steam tank. Uh, in Sylvania, if we install a new guy in there, we get Stalberg's Leather, which... Oh, uh, immune to psychology, that's a nice one. And also the Knights of Moor. In uh, Sterland, we get the Orc Hewer. And also we get the Steer, uh, Steer River Patrol, which is a crossbowman unit. By, with uh, the Empire, we get the Karoberg great swords and also the dragon tooth <coughs> that's a really good item plus 26 melee attack in Talakbland we get the stone breaker as we can see over here which is actually a fine item I like the sander effect and the Sutsons guns which is a mortar unit on Austin Mark we get the troll cleaver which provides a bonus versus large and also charge defense against that 
uh, the ability, the stats are up here, melee attack, weapon strength, and also the Knights of the Everlasting Light, uh, Empire Knights. So. With Ostland we get Brain Wounder, which increases our stats as I can see greatly, and also the Ostland Runefang. Yes. I forgot to state that, uh, like it's the Osterman, uh, Ostermark Runefang, by the way. Um, and so on for the rest of, that, of them. So, let me see, and the Stabon Bulls, Empire Knights with great swords, oh my dear lord, I think I saw that in uh, in some early footage, these guys are gonna be crazy, like questing knights. From Hawkland we get, uh, we get the Goblin Bane and the Hop uh, Hawkland Runefang, which is, oh dear lord, that's uh, really sick, minus 27 melee defense and minus 60 armor, ooh, that's hot, and also, um, some good uh, melee stats. And also we get the Gunderman's Surefires, which are hand gunner units. From Nordland we get the Crow Feeder, which causes damage to combatants and now E effect. That's really nice. And as a unit we get the Nordland Mariners, the Halbediers. From Boris we get the Leg Biter, which uh, provides regeneration. That's a great one to have. And also some other cool buffs as we can see, public order, melee attack, weapon strength, magical attacks and so on. Sword of Ulrich, Swords of Ulrich, a Swordsman. And over here in Wasteland we get Key to the st Stad Strad, uh, which increases public order, income and income from ports. And also the Bordermen, which are Outriders with Grenade Lancers. And all those units that were aforementioned are here. We can uh, right now get the Eldred's, uh, Eldred's Guard, which is actually our well. unit. If we were playing as the Empire, we would get, for example, these guys. And we have the Grad's Settler, which provides melee attack, plus 6, weapon strength, and leadership discouragement. So that is it. Um, Prestige we get by constructing political events, battles, settlements, and we lose by political events also, and electoral machinations. The electoral machinations are this one. It means that you spent uh, the prestige. So let's try it once. Let's go over to uh, who hates us. I think Whistleland. Yeah, we only got two fealty. But as you can see here, it only improves the diplomatic relations, like it doesn't say that it's gonna increase fealty. The only way to increase fealty is through all that as you can see over here. We need to have positive imperial authority, uh, technologies, allowed uh, expansion, reinstated elector counts, defended settlements, high relations. Oh actually there it is, high relations. So if we have better relations with them, alright let's do it. I don't think it's gonna happen immediately. Yeah, it needs to get on the positive, okay. Uh, political events, zero. At the moment, return settlements, base fealty. How can we return settlements? A new mechanic perhaps, that uh, for example if that gets taken by orcs you get to give it back. Most likely. Okay, where was I? Here. Um, we can take it from here and we lose by demanding settlements, declining to defend and so on so on. Probably all these are gonna be like event kind of types. For example if they get invaded by orcs they're gonna ask for our help. As I said earlier it's uh, I still haven't got the perfect touch around it and that's mostly because I don't have in, uh, didn't have enough time like it all just uh, came together early access and uh, I had already other stuff like real life stuff going on and uh, yeah uh, and the best way to actually just uh, to understand it I think is just by freaking playing the game so uh, I will do the mistakes so you can just uh, get in there and just uh, have a lot of fun with your first playthrough so we start off uh, with Feldorf as we can see Fort Sol is over here they're kind of tilted on one side which I think it means like if we attack with if we were, for example, the orcs and attack with one force, so we lock the garrison inside, the second one can go through. I, th I That's the vibe I'm, I'm getting from. I'm not sure though. 
but I strongly believe that is the case. Uh, there's another fort here, Helmgard, uh, which was moved back, and now we get a new city, Ubersreik, over here, instead of Helmgard down here. And we get Fort uh, Bergbers, which is controlled by Marienberg. Let's check, like, new provinces and such, uh, new regions. Oh, so we get a new up here, a Ernau or a Mau? What is that? Ernau. Okay, cool. So uh, the wasteland is now a three-region province. Uh, Middleland is four. There is the new region, Middenstag. What is that? The Black Pit. It's a new total, pro uh, completely new province. Orcs are uh, residing in here. I can't see where that is, but I suspect it's somewhere up here or something. Yeah, as you can see, I don't have any visual on that part of the map here. So I suspect the second settlement is over here. So um, that is actually very really nice because this this whole place was like uh, not very heavily crowded and now it is. Nordland, no changes. Hockland, no changes. Uh, I think these settlements were here before. Northern. These two definitely were. I just don't remember about Northern but I think it was... Uh, it's been some time since I played with Empire. Uh, the Lack plant, we can see here all of these new province. There's also a completely... Um, where was it? Okay, let's check one by one. So we check that. Let's check Ostenmark, which is now a four... No, I think it was before that. Sorry. <laughs> As I said, I haven't played with Empire uh, even before that. Even before the DLC. Uh, so we get Kappelberg here, Sylvania, any new settlements here? I don't see any. Uh, Steingard is definitely a new one. Flensburg, Woodbat and Needling. Okay, these are all that I can see of and uh, let's start to see how we do. Alright, so we start off with Feldorf. And we get a unique building, Feldorf Wine Market, income generated, wine production, income from all buildings, and income from all buildings. Uh, what? Yeah, ah, it's in adjacent provinces. Okay. <laughs> okay, I was like, what? What is that? Okay, so uh, we start off with a barrack. We're gonna keep it for the moment. We're not gonna upgrade it, there's no need to. Uh, we need to get uh, another slot to unlock this one if we want halberdiers or anything close to it. So we go for an immediate attack, I suspect, against these orcs over here, which do not seem that tough. So let's begin. Yeah, it's just the uh, standard goblins with some goblin archers and uh, some spider riders. Let's play with them. Alright, so we get Balthazar Gjald, let's stay back here, I think this high hill will be the perfect place to start on top, let's gamble, okay good, let's get these guys here, we're gonna leave the great swords behind, uh, outriders stay on this flank, you stay here, you stay like that and that, okay. Uh, you can Vanguard deploy. Balthazar Geld can also Vanguard deploy for some reason. Uh, I don't. I'm not complaining. I'm just, yeah, weird. Well, let's get these outriders here to harass the Coblin Spider Riders, while Geld opens fire on top of them immediately with a magic spell. Ugh, vindictive glare. Okay, it didn't do too much damage, but we are doing some back. All right, let's fall back within safety and you guys just start harassing these ones. You don't have to get closer, you can start shooting them already, right? Alright, let's get away. We just need to harass these archers for the moment. 
If we stay back in this forest, uh, this uh, spot, okay, they're coming after us. It seems they have woken up, okay. Come through here. Send them straight for our uh, spearmen while these champs will do the rest. Come here. We are faster than them. Alright, shoot the archers. Crossbowmen, do the same please. Gelt, get over here. You will defend this flank. You shall bust immediately onto him. And we are gonna drop some hot action. Okay, get through. Spearmen, wait for the spiders. And great swords, prove me what you're worth. All right, let's drop it here. And why did you stop? Why did you stop? Why did you get caught? All right, it's fine. Just minor damage. And we are doing quite well over on this side. Okay, finally the archers have broken. Um, let's shoot there, I guess. Well, you get through so you can go chase that unit down and let's uh, I don't think they have any armor to begin with so debuff oh they have 25 then you know what uh, let's debuff the Lord and use that all right guys go over there you keep shooting there while you try to get on the flank, actually shoot these ones down. Should we get Gelt in there, or yeah, let's let's try to help with the great swords. The swordsmen are doing great. Stop with that vindictive glare, champ! It irritates me. All right, let's turn them off from fire at will, so they won't be shooting any friendlies. Man, look at that! Unless they're difficult, even freaking uh, simple goblins outperform all right keep finishing that off you keep aiming for this guy crossbowman get these ones while you I don't know just try to get a kill on somebody uh, just weaken this guy it doesn't matter we don't want to kill him but we need him to be a lot lot weaker than that let's try to chase down some of them is the mortar gonna hit now oh, it's aiming for them uh, it has actually done a great job, so shoot here then. That's right, Outriders. Make me proud. And that is it. Um, I think we can uh, exit the battle now. It is a decisive victory. Alright, I suggest that you, um, well, we didn't take any damage, any heavy damage, so I guess we can go for the money. It only lasts for one turn, so it's not like a big uh, debuff or something. Alright, level 2 for Balthazar, we're gonna use the Root Martyr, because we want to attack immediately on Steingard. We only attack them to gain uh, a free level up and also just throw them off. So this is where we need to go. And this is a much more easier army to handle. So let's fight this battle and let's see if we're gonna be getting anything uh, new to the authority. Which, if you increase your authority, you get stuff on uh, the fealty system. Oh, oh, that is a new map, that is definitely a new map and it looks freaking amazing, just look at the background, holy Jesus, 
That is one of the most beautiful maps I've seen in Warhammer 2. Man, this looks dope. Okay, um, they're standing back there. We need to place the mortar somewhere that's gonna be effective. I think it's gonna be here, like close to the mountain, uh, to the forest. Leave these gems back here, you guys also. Let's see where they're coming from and then we're gonna respond on how we place the units. There they are. Let's go play with them. Have our fun. You on fire at will? Yes, you are. Okay. Balthazar is on foot, so we better be careful. <laughs> okay, let's go away from the forest because they might just appear out of nowhere. You go here, just shoot them in the back. I'm pretty sure there's more coming from over there. Uh, why are you not firing at will? You have the range. Ah, there they are. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Where's the great swords? We need to be here. If we can blob them up around this house, then uh, the searing doom is gonna be very effective. Obviously, we're not gonna achieve that because they're coming from here too. Uh, but it was a wild, good dream. All right. Uh, we are gonna weaken this guy so you, he can uh, the great swords can take him on. Actually, I should have done that to the swordsman over there. All right, you will just stay for reinforcing purposes. And let's now drop this one right here. While uh, you guys keep doing that, the crossbowman should get on one flank over here. You keep aiming for this so it can't, it won't be coming back. And guilt, you can get in there. All right, let's reinforce. Actually, no, no, no. Just leave the spearman behind and wait. All right, come here. Mortar, shoot here. You get a charge on them. You shoot. All right, and I keep going. Just one volley was all that I needed. I just, you know, getting shot and at the same time getting charged is enough to break them. All right, let's drop that here. And they did. Ah, now we have these guys coming. Oh, well. We shall deal with them, don't worry. Okay, let's get you from up here. Uh, what is this? A potion of speed. Let's just use it, just for the fun of it. Alright, you chamber doing great. Keep shooting them. <coughs> Come on, Sutter. There's my boy Geld in the front lines like a true man of the empire. Alright, we have broken through this. Oh, Ooh, okay, that was a massive fail. <laughs> that was a massive, massive fail. <laughs> Fall back. These guys might be spearmen, but they don't have anti lards So uh, let's charge them real quick. Let's hope we're gonna break. Uh, that was a weak charge, champs. That was very, very weak. Alright, turn around and shoot. These guys have come back? No. Alright, they have broken. I think we just won. That is why. Okay. We don't need to fight anymore. Okay, so that battle went pretty easy. It was pretty easy, except uh, my massive fail back here. <laughs> and the mortar just shooting straight into the middle of my formation. And at the same time getting charged by goblins. Oh man. Imagine if you were... Uh, in that, uh, like a, a man in that unit right now and you were preparing to fire the enemy coming after you and then a friendly fire just drops in the middle of your formation <laughs> and everybody uh, starts uh, going flying <clears throat> alright, we occupy that uh, we have secured a province, follower gained and guild has gotten another level I think I'm gonna go for the blue line or not. I think I'm gonna go for the... Let's upgrade his magic. Alright, uh, two options. I either go through here, but I will need to trespass unless Averland is the faction that likes us the most. Right. So... Um, okay, by the most I mean plus one. <laughs> Can we get military access? No way in hell. So... Uh, 
We're just gonna attack from here and go to Migdal von Galbarak later. Through the mountainous terrain. Okay, we're gonna need some swords. We're gonna need some more archers. And we're gonna need a few more archers. <laughs> okay. Alright, do we upgrade that? I don't think we're gonna need crossbowmen anytime soon. Spearmen I can get around with the simple ones and these guys require an armory. Not an armory, what's the name? A blacksmith. So uh, until we get another slot we'll just uh, stay put. And technology wise this is the new technology. So um, we have uh, state troop standards, we can go for growth and public order, assembly line, firing drills, cavalry upgrades or ammunition, missiles upgrades. Um, I think the first one to go should be um, let's go for public order because it seems like it's not gonna be like a really really hard campaign like Wolfheart is. With Wolfheart you, you better upgrade uh, your units first because uh, against Lizardman you really are gonna struggle and as we can see over here we can issue a commandment on uh, Fort Sol, obviously we're gonna go for the growth so we can upgrade it a lot lot faster and uh, I think we just need to end the turn for the moment um, should I globally recruit? no I can just get here next turn and just recruit for another round alright these guys will attack this time what else is, uh, is new? we got uh, the authority system, imperial authority which uh, has to do with the fealty system by the way has anything changed? not here for example um, Averland, where is Averland? Uh, that's just base fealty okay Nothing changed with us taking on these uh, particular green skins. Alright, uh, now we get attacked in Fort Sol and we will get to see how these forts actually look. And trust me, they look amazing. Um, I think there's been pictures out there. Yeah, this is, it has a double layer. So if, you know, the front walls fall, then you can fall back to here. And lastly, you can fall back to the victory point, which is uh, rather greatly um, yeah, very well defended because you have to go around from the sides in order to attack so uh, yeah this is it it looks very cool as I said it looks like uh, an elven uh, gate kind of thing and we got the walls as the first defense then we have one two three passages from here you can place your archers up on these battlements um, they're not standard battlements like uh, you know the walls you just position them over here like this and they just shoot which is uh, quite as fun and lastly lastly if that falls then you get to fall back here which there's only two options to go in there which is from the sides so as they try to come up here you can shoot them or you can for example just do this like protect these sides and have the archers rain fire upon them over here um, I don't think we need to do uh, that kind of stuff, this is a rather easy battle. So um, we're gonna leave the mortar up here, because it can uh, be on the high ground. <coughs> okay, 
we have some savage orcs from here so we're gonna leave the great swords from this side together with some swordsmen uh, the captain shall be here because that's where the enemy boss is uh, archers crossbowmen to be exact shall be placed up on the walls until just in the beginning until we get some damage done then they're gonna move down I don't want them up here okay you know what I'm gonna put some here you stay there and you so we can have some crossbowmen on here to just shoot these savage orcs as they try to come up same can be said here and you champs just stay there okay so we will leave another swordsman here and here we're gonna leave some spearmen defending the gate and another one just to sit <coughs> and wait for orders <coughs> And uh, have I forgotten about anybody? Nope, I have not. Okay, let's begin the battle. Let's use the towers immediately to shoot infantry. Not anything else. Do not sit, uh, shoot the cavalry champs. Shoot here. These guys. Okay, you shoot over there. You shoot the savage orcs there. And you over there. Okay, everything is going according to plan. Let's take a fun look at things. How are these guys able to shoot? I guess they are. Just cause. Alright, some good early damage here. We're gonna swap them. We're gonna get these guys down below. <clears throat> Alright, I think just a few more shots. Okay, go down. You guys will get here and you will get here so we can shoot while you come here and here. Excellent. Alright, you deploy like that now. And please do not shoot the uh, Savage Orc bo boys. Shoot these ones. Alright, this is where they're coming. So let's move the swordsman over there. How about from here? There's more to come up this way. So let's move these guys there. Actually, no. We need this tower to keep on firing. Uh, where's that mortar shooting, by the way? <laughs> okay, you can go for the archers. That's a much better uh, target to go after. The same goes for you, and you keep shooting these ones. By the time they go up there, we'll have lost like more than half of their HP. These guys, are, uh, this guy is already has lost enough uh, health points, so we're going after him. And let's position these guys a little bit better. Oh, he's getting shot, that's why he's losing so much HP so fast. And now the captain is in there, I don't know though if he can fight him. We'll just do a couple of... Uh, yeah, we'll hit him a couple of times and then just get the hell away if we start losing. And... Okay, you know what? Times, shoot these guys. And the same goes for you, come here. This guy is dying. Actually, keep shooting, keep shooting. Let's move these guys like this. I just want the tower to keep on firing. Excellent, boys. And this guy's getting wrecked. He's getting destroyed. The great swords are suffering most of all, but that's because they're up against two units. <clears throat> Don't worry, as soon as we take care of that guy. Alright, let's shoot with the mortar in here. And there you go, he falls. Okay, uh, shoot here, uh, Captain, keep chasing him. Alright, these guys are just sitting, doing nothing, so let's get you this way. Is somebody, uh, we got a guy attacking the gates. Okay, fine with that, did we break these guys? Not just yet, it was actually our swordsman that broke. Alright, you keep chasing. Let's bring you here. These guys will hold the gate quite enough time. Oh man, mortar. Please be more careful. <laughs> it's a garrison, so even if the great swords get destroyed, it's fine. Like, it's not that uh, they will vanish. They will just get back. Alright, you shoot here if you can, please. And you guys, are you done? Yes, you are. Let's get you down below. There's a lot of guys trying to come in here. They're very wounded. <clears throat> Great swords for the Emperor. 
Okay, I, I think it's over. Where is that guy? Still chasing? Come on, be faster. He will rally. Okay, he shattered and so did the rest of the army. Alright, let's get these guys up on the tower so it can keep on firing you here. You uh, stay up here. And yeah, just let the towers do some work. Also the mortar. It still has like half of the ammunition. You can shoot here, temp. There you go. Excellent. Alright, tower. Are you doing anything? Oh, why didn't you get up there? Well, it's fine. Let's end the battle. A close victory. Okay, and we will get the money because it's just a garrison. Alright. Now, let's get over here. We'll recruit some more couple of archers, I think we're gonna need one more spearman so we can, you know, protect both flanks and one swordsman. And uh, that's a mean army for the time being. Alright, we're gonna keep the weaving house, although we could go for growth. Mm, you know what, let's, let's go for the growth. Because it's gonna take some time to get to reach here and we need Feldorf to get in that level 3 state so we can get some halberdiers, uh, some uh, great swords and uh, so on so on enhancement of course like it's a really great unit now with uh, you have a cheap option to anti lard they can fire while shooting so they are the perfect uh, you know early stage unit a cheap unit Balthazar, can you stop screaming? <laughs> Something's really, really wrong with the guy. <laughs> now he, this guy is screaming. Yeah, uh, uh, oh. Stop it. Alright, let's go for the growth. Um, Lord Note moved. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna be going for Karak here. Uh, it's walled, but it just has uh, goblins and orc boys. I'm pretty sure like if we rush the walls uh, together with Searing Doom We shall destroy them and also this decent archers um, And yeah, I'm just uh, gonna end this episode now here guys like uh, expect more from uh, now on and uh, I really hope you enjoyed feel free to leave a like or a comment feel free to subscribe if you're not and hit that notification button and yeah, gonna be seeing you next time. Bye bye.